I am excited because I have this new Aerie sweatshirt. And if you can see, it says a Yale question mark. I mean, I just love that. <laughs> but it is a little bit cropped and I did get it in a small to kind of combat the oversizedness. I'm sure it would be slightly longer if I got a medium, but then it's like even more oversized. So my vision was to put it over this cat suit. Now this cat suit doesn't look great. I would normally wear shapewear with something like this, as you can see. Um, and it does look better, but either way, it's kind of the equivalent of having your butt out with leggings. So because of that, I thought, ooh, I could kind of combat the cropped, the croppedness with this, with a cat suit, and then maybe do like a flannel, and then we'll kind of see, but that's, that's the vision. So I really like this. I honestly, I even feel like if I put on some shapewear, I could get away with wearing it like that, but I kind of want to be comfortable today, so... I'm just gonna move forward with my vision of like doing maybe a flannel and some sneakers, but what a cute idea. I've never tried this before. Um, I know not everybody has like maybe a cat suit lying around, but I highly recommend them. I like them. Um, okay, I really like this. I often, when I wear flannels, have said in the past that I kind of make them slightly off center so that you don't see on the both sides because this can tend to add width to your hips, so to speak. But because I feel a little more exposed, maybe because it's a cat suit, plus I don't have shapewear on, I'm actually gonna leave it like that. I almost feel more protected like that. And then of course, you know, my butt is covered. And then these are long enough that it covers the C, you know what I mean? The C and the B covered. So you just need shoes and a bag. I was actually gonna do my Air Force One boots. Uh, these were a Valentine's Day gift from my husband. Thank you, husband. And I really like them. And I've only worn them, I think, once so far. So. I kind of wanted to wear these. However, it's sort of hot here today. So I think I'm going to actually pair them with these kind of ginormous slime <laughs> that are from Walmart. And they're light pink, which I feel like pulls out the kind of the pink under the Yale question mark. Finishing touches. I recently got this bag from Walmart. I feel like it's almost a perfect match. Kind of enough set on that one. It's buttery soft and I really like the O-rings on the side. So this hat. I wanted to do a hat because, I don't know, I'm really not doing jewelry, I'm already late, all the things, I don't wanna do my hair, you saw my hair earlier, okay? This hat, I could not resist co the colors. I know it says home, Maryland. We're boaters, we feel like we practically live in Maryland. I get that it's not in Connecticut, I just really like the aesthetic of how it, it was pink and black, so I'm like, you know what, I don't care. I don't care. Well, I went to Yale, but my home is Maryland, but the irony is neither one of those are true, but that's fine. <laughs> So this is the final look. I really love how it came together. Yell question mark.